Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to add a new video on AG Grid. This topic is about Align Grids. So there may be scenario in your application where you need to compare data in two different data tables which is one below the other. For example, if you need to compare two data of two data table, one data table contains current year data and the second data table contains the prior year data. That means the previous year data. So you need to check or compare the data across different months or days in a month. So in that scenario, it would be very beneficial if you have aligned grids. That means if you scroll from data table one horizontally, then the table below will also scroll accordingly so that you can compare data column wise. So this is an example which I have done in AG grid. Okay, so if if you see we have two data tables. Okay, and if I scroll to the right, then you can see the scrolling is happening for first data table and the second data table. Similarly, if I move this column to right, then you can see that it is getting reflected in both the tables. Similarly, if we decrease the width of a particular column, for example, the column for age, if you are decreasing, then you can see that it's getting reflected in both data tables. Similarly, if we increase the width of column age is increasing in both. If we scroll to the right, both will scroll. And if we scroll to the left, then the scroll is happening for both the data table. So this type of functionality is very much required when we need to compare data between two data tables. Today, I'm going to demo you on how to achieve this functionality in AG Grid. So for that, I have application ready with all the required dependencies. So in the dependencies, so AG Grid, we need AG Grid Angular as I'm developing it in Angular. For that, I need the AG Grid Angular library, then AG Grid Community and AG Grid Enterprise. So these four libraries are required. So I have already added and in the app module.ts, I already have imported it. Okay. And also we are fetching the data from an API. Okay. So for that, we need an HTTP call. For that, I have imported HTTP client module as well. So I have imported HTTP client module as well. Now, currently our app component dot ts has nothing it's just a class and in the html we have a header and a small description about align grids so let's start on our demo firstly we need to have the column definition then the row data okay so we will first declare two properties here so we have the two properties. One is the column definition. The other is the raw data. Column definition defines what all data we need to show. And the raw data is the variable in which we will store the data. Once we make an API call, we will store the data in this particular variable. Okay. Now, our next objective is to define this column definition. So in the ng on init, we can first define the column definition. So if you see, so we have several fields at lead, age, country, year, date, sport, etc. And we are grouping countries and sports together. Okay, so for that we have row group set to true and for 
Fields, gold, silver, bronze, we have given a width of 100 pixel each and for total we have given a width of 200. And this country and spot column will be hidden. So it, shown, it will not be shown in the columns. Okay, so if we remove this, it will be part, it will be as part of a separate column. It will be shown as a separate column. Okay, so since we have it as for group, we are hiding it. Next, we need to make an API call to fetch the data. Okay, for that, we need to inject the HTTP client. Okay, so that private HTTP, HTTP client. So I have injected the HTTP client. Now our next step is to fetch the data from a remote server and show and have it in our component. For that, we'll make an get API call. So I have already, I already have the snippet for that. I'm just copying and pasting it. So in the ng unit, in the line below, so I am making an a get API call, okay, and and I am hitting this JSON, and we are subscribing to the data to the get event, and we are storing the data in our global variable that is the raw data. So we will give this an access modifier of of public since we are going to use it in our HTML. So, so far so good. Next thing is we need to add the options for the AG grid. So for that we will have two global variables, two public variables properties, the top options and the bottom option. So these, so we have two grids. So one will be the top grid and the other will be the bottom data table. So for that two grids, we have two options in place. Now we'll write some HTML. So we are using AZ grid Angular. So I will copy the snippet and paste it here. And I will format. So here we can see property auto column or auto group column does, does not exist in app component. So we need to set this configuration or the property. I have already that in place. So I am copying this and I am pasting it below the bottom options. Now our configuration is done and we have the data in our tables so if you see we have the data but now the grids are not aligned so once we scroll it is not getting scrolled the below and if i increase or decrease the column width the below column is not shrinking accordingly so that is where we need that align grid implementation okay so for that we have this align grid option so that i will paste paste it for the top option and also for the bottom option okay now once that is set we need to specify we need to push the options in both so here for bottom option there is the initially the align grids is empty now what we are going to do huh? once we have the data or in the ng on it we are setting this and we are pushing the bottom options to the top option and the top option to the bottom option so now we have two data tables which are in sync 
or align to each other. So if I decrease the width of column athlete, then it gets reflected in both. If I scroll the first data table, the second data table also scroll accordingly. Okay. And if I move a particular column to right, then it's getting reflected in both the data tables. So it's very convenient for the developers or the users to compare the data across each column. Okay. So for example, as I already discussed, if there is a business scenario where we need to compare multiple year data, say the current year data and the previous year data. Suppose our first container has, or the first data table has current year data and the second data table has prior year data. So if we need to compare those, then this feature would come very handy as the view is changing in both the grids on scroll. Hope this is beneficial for you. If you have any doubts regarding its implementation, you can comment in the comment section. If you like the video and found it beneficial, please like, subscribe and share to all your friends. Thank you.